Now, I also have been inside the Idaho Falls Temple as a temple, too. Okay. Yeah, back in the day. Um, and can I just say, I'm ba- so- Back when you were going to heaven? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm so glad that they decided not to name this the Rexburg Temple North, because for all of us bitches who don't know North from South or East from West, <laughs> that would get real confusing real fast. <laughs> Is the North Rexburg Temple North or South of the Rexburg Temple? <laughs> I mean, I get it, but also don't... like. Anytime someone gives me directions and they say, oh, you're just going to go to Walgreens, then turn north. No, no. These How days, dare you? <laughs> these days, anytime anyone gives me directions, period, I kind of have to chuckle. <sighs> well, like yeah, you've never heard of Google Maps. Yeah, that's fair. That's and fair. it's usually, you know, 60 plus people that are being super helpful. So I let them oh, finish. Sure. I always let them give me directions mm-hmm. and I completely go off to another place Unicorns, right. <laughs> glitter, rainbows, sparkles. Mm-hmm. And then when they stop talking, I say, okay, thanks. And then you get Google in my it. car, type it into Google Maps yes. and go. Okay. There are so many times <laughs> when I'll be talking to someone and they're like, oh, hey, you want to go meet me here? You know where that is, right? And I'll be like, no, I don't. But, and they'll cut me off and be like, oh, well, it's here. And I'm like, no, it's fine. I'm just going to Google it. Yeah. Like, you- don't tell me because I'm. A, I'm not going to remember. I'm a goldfish. How dare you? Okay? You'll be talking about turn right at the big rock. Come on. No, no. <laughs> Especially because I'll see a rock of this size and be like, is that the, is big, that rock? the big rock? Is this the is big rock? Is that the red fence? Right? Is that the barn? Yeah, you yeah. never know. You never know. And if you tell me north, south, east, or west, I will go the opposite direction every time. When <laughs> I move to a new city, which may or may not ever happen again. Mm-hmm. But the locals always orient themselves with something. In Salt Lake. A landmark, yeah. Yeah, it's the temple. Mm -hmm. Or it's the um, Wasatch, which are to the east, Mm -hmm. not the west. It'd be easier if the Wasatch were on the west. Yeah, that would be. Uh, And the Ochres uh, to the west. Mm -hmm. And if you know the difference between each mountain range, which is pretty easy to figure out, you know which way you're going. It's a mountain and a mountain. You're in Taylor Mountain is pretty easy to see from anywhere in Idaho sure. Falls. You know, when I was first learning to drive and like getting oriented, uh, the thing that I used the most was the Evan the Evans Greens Towers on Lincoln. Okay, yes. Especially because things were a lot flatter back in my day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so you could see those from like anywhere. And I remember for a while I was going to church at the uh, single young adult ward in Yukon, and I had only gone there a handful of times. I had no idea how to get home to Iona. <laughs> I didn't know where I, I just knew I followed this road and I got to the thing and then I didn't know how to make my way back out. <laughs> didn't your parents Parents print you MapQuest directions? No, of course they didn't. They were they weren't gonna waste precious printer ink on me. <laughs> no. Figure it out, kid. I did. Yeah, basically. But I remember one time I took I took a wrong turn leaving church. No idea where I was, and I basically had to stop, look around. I saw those Evan Grains towers, Evans Grain towers. Those are so hard to say, and I just followed those like the goddamn North Star. <laughs> we have a Facebook photo when we did our shoot from the West Bank. I always call it call it the Red Line. Personally. Was the Red Line was yeah. Quality Inn and Suites is now Comfort Suites. Yes. We also had our drone guy take a picture of the temple. It was a beautiful fall day. The river was still, and you can see the Evans Grain towers in the background. You I'm totally like, what are can. those things? Oh, that's the. Yeah. So that's, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got to learn where the landmarks are. You do. You do. And realistically, if anyone tells me, like, hey, meet me at this place and I don't know where it is, I just have to be like, okay, where is it by? Because yeah. if it's by there, I can find it from there. You know, but don't say what street it's on. Don't say what direction it is. <laughs> Tell me what landmark it's by and then I will find it. I don't know if this is true, but I've heard that that is sort of a gender thing. Dudes know northeast, west, south. Mm-hmm. It's very important for me to be oriented. Yeah. But uh, ladies like the landmarks. Yeah, no, I've got no sense of direction. (laughs) Ideally, if it's a shopping center, I'll be great. (laughs) You know, if you're telling me to meet you by like, I don't know, TJ Maxx, Kohl's, uh, the mall. You just have that womanly pull. You just sort of follow (laughs) your nose. I mean, I know where to to get the stuff that I need. (laughs) I can smell savings. (laughs) Right, right. Where is it at in relation to Target? (laughs) I mean, realistically, if it's by Target, I can find it. Any target (laughs) in any town. You know what? That's the thing. I bet that is the one and only time that you could tell me a direction and I could find it is if you were directing directing me to a target. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's definitely a destination. (laughs) I I feel like you got to hit the target. Well, and also I feel like they just pump pheromones into that place so you can smell for miles. 
I wonder you know? if they do that. I kind of think they do. Like, that's why chicks go freaking crazy there. <laughs> 